Hey, what's up, YouTubers? Lou here with the, another pool care video. Today, I'm going to replace the uh, pool anode rod cover um, in my pool, my pool plumbing. I developed a crack uh, in it over uh, the summer. It was a tiny little drip uh, coming from it, so I went ahead and ordered the pool cover. I'm sorry, the anode rod cover, and I'm just going to swap it out. So I looked everywhere online for this uh, anode rod cover, and they discontinued this model. I guess. Uh, it wasn't a very good product, it kept cracking. So I searched online and the only place where I could find it was down in Virginia. Um, this is the, uh, the cover. Let's open it up, see what we got. All right, so this is the, the basic cover, real simple. Comes with an O-ring. That's that O-ring. And this is from CMD. Let's see. Pool Defender Cover Replacement. I think it comes with all the parts that I need. This should be an easy fix. All right, let's get to it. All right, so here is that leak I was talking about right here. Looks like it's coming from a little tiny crack right there. I tried fixing it before with uh, an epoxy. It didn't work, obviously. It's a real small leak. All right, so I got to remove that cap with a 10 millimeter wrench. And before I do that, I got to turn the system off and release some of the pressure from the plumbing. off and I'm also going to close off these valves that will prevent any water additional water getting in there so you can depressurize it put some of the pressure out there no pressure and there's water all the way up top here, up top there, and I can release some of the water from here. Coming out of the uh, backwash valve. There you can see. That's yeah, good enough. All right, next, I'm just gonna loosen that nut. that off, get that out of the way. There you go. Alright, back in my workshop. Uh, I'm going to take this apart real quick. I'm just going to loosen this bottom nut.
All right, now this actually can be cleaned. All my do is there's if you notice there's a lot of uh, actually there's not a lot. There's um calcium buildup on there. This doesn't actually doesn't look too bad. So what I would normally do if it was really dirty, fill this cup up with water, drop it in here, and then maybe uh, mix it with uh, 10 to 1 ratio. All right, 10 parts water to one part of muriatic acid. That right there. And then just uh, let it sit there for maybe 10 minutes and it'll dissolve all that, basically, all that calcium buildup right there. All right, so this is a sacrificial anode rod. Same type of rod you would have in your hot water heater where it would basically, this will corrode instead of all of the metal parts inside your pool system, okay? So I'm gonna put this back together and then uh, reinstall it, hopefully it'll take care of that leak. So this has seen better days. Um, definitely uh, cracks in there. So that's what was causing it to leak. So actually I am gonna go ahead and clean this. So I'm gonna take this acid, carefully pour it in there. If you just carefully look inside there, you'll see it start to bubble up. It's basically dissolving that calcium buildup. I'll let it sit there for about 10 minutes and see what happens. I'm gonna go ahead and put it back together. All right, it's been uh, 10 minutes or so. I went ahead and rinsed it out already, swapped the water out so it's safe, no more acid in there. I'm just gonna go ahead and take the, the anode rod, take the new bolt, put it in there, take, take this nut, just gonna secure it snug. Where's that O ring? Take this. this out of the way. So it's going to go on like that. Get one of the new nuts. Oops, that's not how it went. The new washer. New nut. All right, then reinstall it. All right, I'm gonna try to line this up. Get this cover on first. that on and this and that. Now this I have to be careful. I don't want to put this on too tight because it is plastic or the cover is plastic. Tighten that up. Alright. I 
turn the valves, turn the valves back on. I'm gonna go ahead and pressurize it. Turn on the pumps. Looks good, no leaks. I'll check back in uh, about half hour. If I need to make it tighter, I can, but it looks so far so good. All right, mission accomplished. Uh, no leaks, I went ahead and took a little quick look at it and I didn't see any leaks. Um, so quick recap of what we did. Um, this uh, cover right here had some uh, tiny little uh, hairline cracks in there, which was enough to basically cause it to have a slight drip, all right? So I went ahead and uh, replaced this. I found it online, um, Four Guys Pool Supply Company down in Virginia. Um, this was the only place I could find that had the, the cover, all right? So apparently uh, CMD, that's the company that makes it, they no longer make that version. So if you have any breaks in the system, you have to replace it with a new system that's, uh, I think it's more reliable and doesn't develop these uh, cracks in this cover here. So I guess the crack developed when the pool company that installed it they might have uh, tightened that nut up too tight. So I was a little uh, cautious with that. Um, I did it just a quarter turn after hand tight and I didn't see any leaks on it. So you don't have to do, uh, do it tighter than that. Um, basically, I don't know how much a pool company would charge to fix that little leak. Um, not really a big deal water wise. It was just a slight drip, but it does allow air into the system and you don't want to have air inside your pool lines for uh, numerous reasons. All right, um, so anyways, um, hope you guys learned something from this video. Uh, hope if this video would help someone out there who has a similar uh, situation as mine. Um, so, I mean, I'm, I basically couldn't find a video on online on how to replace this, so made my own video. Hopefully um, this helps someone out. So if you uh, like this video, go ahead and like, and help me build my channel, all right? Thanks for watching.